Hi there, me again. This is the second episode from a road trip Christina and I went on to see my sister. Last time, we explored Clemson and Greenville, South Carolina, and I shot some Fuji Keller C200 in my Canon P. Here's a few photos from that video. After some quality time with the fam, we were off to Florida, and we were greeted by the Sunshine State almost immediately with rain. Once we got to Tampa, we were pretty much out of the storm, but it was still looking very spooky outside. Once we knew we could see St. Petersburg on the horizon, we knew we were getting close to our vacation spot. Welcome to Treasure Island. Treasure Island is an island in the Tampa Bay area just north of St. Pete Beach. It's got emerald green waters and plenty of fun stuff to do. Our first mission this morning was to find some coffee, and we found a really rad place called Grove. After some caffeine, I found Larry's Ice Cream, which had a Nash Metropolitan out front with Snoopy in the driver's seat. This photo I took on Fuji Keller C200 is one of my favorites from the trip. I love how bright and warm everything looks, especially those palm trees next to the building. And I also really enjoy the truck jutting out from the left side of the frame and all the details about Larry's ice cream that you can read on the signs. Back at the pad, we got our swimsuits on and hit the beach. This last photo I took on the first day at the beach is another favorite of mine. It's got a warm pastel look which suits the scene perfectly. Also the clouds in the sky paired with the perfect amount of people sprinkled on the beach and in the ocean make this photo fun to look at without becoming too busy. Later that afternoon a storm rolled in and we were left wondering how we would spend the rest of our trip. We started day two by having breakfast at this little restaurant which I thought was very photo worthy. Then we walked around this street market that was doing some sort of food competition. And while we were there, I found this little abandoned theater. I like this photo, but I wish I would have gotten closer up for a more minimal composition of the sign. After that, Christina and I boarded a ship and set sail for a dolphin cruise. saw quite a bit of wildlife and so many cool houses on the water. This is also where I finished the role of Fuji C200 that I started all the way back in South Carolina. Here's some of those photos. This one is easily my favorite photo from the Dolphin Cruise. I love how the paddleboarder is framed within that gorgeous blue water. It also just captures what we saw on this boat ride so well. 
toward the end of the boat ride, we finally saw some dolphins. This was the last shot I took on the roll of Fuji C200. After that, I switched to Kodak Portra 160. Next day we went back to the beach in the morning. My plan was to take some photos with my new Nikonos 3 and some high speed black and white film, but it flooded, so rip to me. Hopefully I can find another one soon. After my failed attempt to do my best Jacques Cousteau impression, we headed to downtown St. Petersburg to explore a little. We refilled our caffeine tanks at a place called Black Crow Coffee. I took a couple photos here and then didn't take any more until we got back to the Airbnb and rode the complimentary bikes. Nice touch. Later that evening it was time for a nice dinner and a staring contest with the camera apparently. The last two photos I took were medium format photos with Fuji Pro 400H and my Bronica S2A. This first one was of Christina in her really nice flowery dress, and the second one was of this Thunderbird sign that we saw on the way into Treasure Island. And with that photo, that's the end of the trip. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, because I really did, and I love the memories that we made. I'll see you next time. Bye now.